I'm gonna start with the football because I liked a lot of stuff that I seen um, from the standpoint of Billy helping Spence. He was a real father figure. Came in, cut the jersey. You know, two clutch speeches. Before the game, he gave a clutch speech. After the game, he gave a clutch speech. He was there. You know, so salute to Billy for that. Um, and then I liked how they showed how bad Spence wanted. They showed the different mentality of Spence and Jordan when it come to football. Spence got more of a like, dog, I got to be great. And remember, Spence going to make it to the league and stuff. But he's like, yo, dog, I got to be great. Jordan kind of like, you know, let it come to me, you know. So they got different mentalities. And Spence pushing, he pushing, he pushing. You see the the black wide right receiver coach, he helping them a lot. You know, he really coached them alone. You know, and um, Spence finally getting the game. Fumble. Know that hurt. You know, but the truth about it is, he's a freshman. You're not going to be very dominant over these dudes that got two, three years on you. That just ain't going to happen as a freshman. Majority of the time, especially if you're not at a – quarterback or something like that you ain't the kicker or something like, you ain't gonna be able to be dominant one of them physical athletically or athletic type positions corner ride receiver running back it ain't likely you just gonna pop right in and dominate because dudes then had two three more years lifting weights you know what i'm saying ain't anybody just dominate them so um, I like the I like them aspects that we seeing them struggle. We also seeing live struggle, and at the end it, it worked out. But throughout it, when when she first got introduced to this dude Noah, I'm like, uh, wouldn't trust him. You know, just something about him like yeah, I wouldn't trust him. And then he used her notes, but. We figure out that's kind of how the game go in the journalism game. Like, you write notes and somebody else use them, but they let the superior person know, like, yeah, I use this person's notes, and eventually you will come up. Then one day, Liv going to have somebody that's going to be writing notes for her. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of just how that game is. So he didn't play as bad as I think he did, but he could have let her know. You know, just to not have her thinking, oh, man, this dude stole my notes. And he did. For a second, I did think this dude was going to be maybe trying to get at Liv. But the more I, I seen the dude uh, Noah talk, I'm like, mm, eh, I don't think he's going to try to get at Liv. <laughs> I just didn't get that vibe from him. You know, so... um. He ended up just using her notes, which was cool. Now, it was three other relationships, really four other relationships that we're going to have to talk about. Uh, Spence and Liv, though, they in a great place right now. For that episode, they was in a great place, communicating with each other, you know, doing a thing, going, you know, staying with each other. They in a great place. The other relationships, though, Patience and Coop, we been seeing that coming. Everybody be commenting like, yo. They they not gonna make it. They not gonna make it. And they might come back together later. But yeah, right now, I don't see it, man. And on the preview, I'm gonna talk about who I think patience supposed and not supposed to, but gonna get with. You know, so make sure you check that out. Cause I do think she gonna end up getting with somebody. And I don't think it's gonna be a girl. You know, so make sure y'all check that out. Now, um, that was a relationship. They argue, break up, the split finally happened. Then you got um, Jamie, Asher. They get into a relationship. So as one end, one begins. You know, Jamie and Asher, they get in a relationship, which um, that's going to be an interesting relationship just because of the medical conditions. And I would hate if... Um, something happened, or if Jamie get pregnant and then something happened, you know, that'd just be a, a sad thing. They might just touch on it, though, because those medical conditions, they really, really do affect people's lives, you know what I'm saying? So, you see Jamie, she was real cautious about 
being in this relationship with Asha and she had to let him know, even though she want to be, like, she got to keep letting him know, like, yo, my medical condition, da da da. And Asha got a medical condition, but his ain't really acted up too crazy since the first time, of course, but it ain't acted up too crazy since then. And he don't be doing no running around and stuff, so he be all right. Um, but they start in a relationship, which is a good thing. Then you got Layla and Clay, and then Layla and Joy. Now, Layla and Clay, dog, she doing Clay dirty, you know, and he need to get the memo. Ain't no way I would have came to that thing after she already told me she don't want nothing. Dude, when a woman, when a woman tell you she just want to kick it, she don't want nothing, that's exactly what she mean, dog. And you, when that happened, don't try to be romantic and convince her this what she want. No. You're spinning the wheels, dog. You ain't going nowhere. Don't do none of that. You're wasting your time. A woman tell you something like that? Okay. Okay, sweetheart, maybe next time. And leave it at that. Don't be trying to push up on it and all that. So Clay going wrong doing all that. And Layla don't mind telling him, you know. And then after she sent him away. And they relationship seemed like it's kind of ending, business and professional, even though he still probably worked for the company. They probably not going to be as close. Now, Layla calls in Jordan at the end, and they are really developing their friendship. And I honestly believe Layla do got that wall up. I mean, she got the wall of China up like she she got a big wall up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take somebody that really know her, that been knowing her for most of her life to get over that wall. And that's going to be Jordan. You know, I think when the time come and the time is right, basically when she figure out he ain't with Simone, they going to be together, you know. But until then, you know, just take it slow, build the friendship. You know, I like that. But those relationships, all of them, um, was all stuff we kind of seen coming, but I like how they did them. Now, we didn't get none of Preach this episode, but they still was talking about that situation, and they are really moving fast, because in two episodes, we didn't see Preach go to jail, <laughs> get out, like that, and now we just seen Coop have the cops and stuff looking for or not looking for but trying to take her to jail until Laura going down there talking and just getting her community service that's too like back to back you know so they really moving this season but man we're gonna be back for next week make sure y'all check out the preview check out the other content on the channel I did address that Will Smith Chris Rock, Rock situation Cause it's a lot of people that's just on some goofy stuff, you know. And when I looked at it logically, I'm like, nah, we're dead wrong. But make sure y'all check that out too, man. It's Mac the Guru. Make sure you sub on the channel. Click that like button. Peace.